was at the wrong place at the right time Cause suddenly there you were with those bright blue eyes We were conversing into the night sky When you took my hand said let's leave now Don't wanna be shy Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am just doing a quick and easy cleanup with me. My house was getting a little out of control with the toys everywhere, so I figured it was time to put things back in order. So as you can see, there were just toys piled up everywhere here in this living room. So I just decided to put everything in the laundry basket and put them in the girls room. So that way they can put things away and it will just be out of my sight for the time being. And then there was just some other little random things that needed to go away in their bedroom. Talked about everything that was on our mind. Talking to you gave me butterflies. Then you took my hand and said, let's leave now. So as you saw, I did not vacuum or mop that area because I'm going to do all the floors at once. So I'm going to clean everything up and then I will hit the floors last. Now I am in our dining room, wiping down our dining room table with just the Method all-purpose cleaner. This table has all of the little nooks and crannies and this was kind of a bad idea on my part because crumbs get stuck in all of these cracks and I swear it is so hard to get crumbs out of these cracks on the table. And also fabric chairs were a bad idea with kids because I feel like I have to clean those things daily from the stains and spots that they leave on there, but at least the table looks cute, right? Now we are into the kitchen and I just recently picked up this Method Granite Cleaner and let me tell you, I love it it leaves my countertop streak free clean and if you know me then you know that is a big priority of mine and it also smells really good let me feel your love again cuz i've been running round in circles screaming out your name Take me to a different place Just the two of us and we can So I'm showing you guys my stove here because there were grease marks everywhere. The night before I had made hamburgers on the stove and just never got to wiping it down. So I'm going to do that right now. And I'm going to use this method degreaser. This is my first time using it. I just grabbed it at Target. And let me just tell you, I love it. I was able to get all those grease marks off with no streaking. And I know sometimes like if I use an all-purpose cleaner and wipe down the grease, that there's still some streaking and I kind of need to go over it a second time. With this method degreaser, I did not have to do that at all. And there were no grease marks on my stove whatsoever. So this method degreaser is a new all-time favorite for getting rid of those grease marks. So as you saw when I sprayed the degreaser, I also sprayed it on the grates there. And so I'm just kind of wiping it off. The grates didn't come super clean because they're just gross and need a really good deep cleaning overall. But I meant to spray it on the grate so that it could just give it a nice clean and get the grease from the night before off. Just the two of us and we could stay up all night. 
Dancing under street lights Doing what we want to Doing what we need to do Staying up all night Everything is alright Oh, I wanna be with you Oh, I wanna be with you So this may seem like a shocker, but I did not have any dishes except for this one in the sink because I had already done the dishes prior, so don't let that fool you thinking that we didn't have any dishes this day. We did, but I had already done that. So I'm just washing the few dishes by hand that I could not put in the dishwasher and then I will dry them and put them away as well. After I do the dishes, I like to just give the sink a quick wipe down so that it doesn't smell and I'm also running the garbage disposal while I'm doing this just to get any junk that is down there gone and not leaving my sink stinky for the rest of the day. new here then you know don't know that this yellow Windex is my absolute favorite for stainless steel so I'm showing you how I use it I just spray it on the stainless steel I use a clean dry microfiber rag I think that is the key right now for getting no streaks is to make sure that the rag is clean and so I just wipe it down and seriously it's the easiest thing ever and it leaves no streaks so if you guys are having issues with streaks on your stainless steel, pick up some of this yellow Windex and you won't regret it. Okay, so now we are doing the floors just in the common areas that I clean up, but I also wanted to hit this front area as well because there were a ton of footprints from coming in the front door. So I'm just going to vacuum and then give it a mop. And in my mop bucket, I have some Purple Fabuloso, which is the lavender scent and just some very hot water. that I am using is the O Cedar mop. It is my favorite mop to use on my floors because I can wash the heads and so I know that they're getting clean and disinfected and I'm not spreading all those germs around. So I have three different mop heads actually and I just change them out each time I use them. So while you guys are watching me clean my floors here, I just wanted to introduce myself if you guys are new. My name is Brittany. I am a wife and stay-at-home mom to two little girls. There is Bella who is seven and Lily who is four and I also have a lab who is 10 and I'm sure you'll hear me mention him a lot because he gets our floors very dirty with all of his hair and drool but we wouldn't change it for the world because we love him. I am also a full-time online college student hoping to finish here in May with my bachelor's degree so I'm looking forward to that moment. A bit of truth to 
face, not that innocent We know what we did I'm a sucker for your love This area of the house probably gets the dirtiest just because of all the traffic coming in and out of the back door with the dog and the kids and then also because of the dining room table and all of the crumbs and things that spill from the table so this floor area gets very dirty and I feel like I am always stepping on crumbs around here and it drives me crazy so I like to wear shoes. I'm sure you guys always probably see me wearing my slippers because stepping on crumbs drives me crazy. Does it drive anyone else crazy or am I just one of the few? Cause I want you close, I'm so exposed when you're keeping me wondering You know I'd do anything to be in your arms again So give me a sign, give me a sign Oh, give me a sign, baby give me a sign Just give me one more, talking to you talking to Here we go again, staying up all night to see if you've been texting me all right guys, so I am just going to be finishing up here in the dining room and then I am going to move on into the kitchen and just vacuum and mop that area. But if you did notice, I didn't hit any of the bedrooms in this video because that is actually going to be on the next video. I'm going to be vacuuming all of the carpeted areas and also carpet cleaning those areas as well. So make sure you check out that next video. It will be the one after this one hit the bell notification so you don't miss it. I'm sure it's gonna be a good one. If you guys are new here, I would love if you considered subscribing to my YouTube channel. I have this wonderful community that I have built and I would love for you to become part of it. If you liked this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and I will see you guys in the next one. I met him on a sunny day in late July and everything turned upside down. I almost lost track of time as weeks went by I couldn't get him off my mind I told him I want that great love Like standing in the middle of a bonfire You don't know how you got there but you hold tight Knowing that you can't get burned